Hi, I'm Guy from Sea King Boats North Queensland and today's video is about the importing costs of a boat and also we're going to go into some of the hidden costs especially in the shipping component and this can be relevant whether you're importing a boat or importing a 40 foot container of uh, wooden doorknobs it really doesn't matter there's a, a lot of confusion when it comes to shipping and people can be misled and uh, undervalue the cost of their project so we're going to talk about that um, but first of all I just want to mention that uh, we have now struck up a deal with our factory so we can offer a cheaper consultancy rates for people who are about to import a boat themselves or want to import a boat themselves they just need that extra bit of help and assistance along the way and confidence that they're dealing with the right factory so we have a very easy uh, consultancy fee structure two four and six thousand dollars two thousand dollars being for the smaller six meter boats four thousand dollars being for the seven meter boats and six thousand dollars being for the larger boats 9.6 and above uh, so in that consultancy fee, it includes you're obviously using our services So you know straight away you don't have to go over and do your due diligence on the factory You don't have to fly to China. You don't have that um, uh, Concern that the person you're dealing with the salesperson could be a fraud could be just not even attached to a factory Just trying to get your money or you're dealing with a inferior factory or just a poor salesperson So when you're dealing with us, you know, you're going to be dealing with the correct factory. We have our own agent We, we uh, specialize in customizations uh, quite often the salespeople are all competitive with each other in, within their own company. They just want to get a quick sale, give you a standard layout, limited options. Our option sheets are, are quite extensive and they're, they're options you wouldn't even know existed. And we do offer factory direct pricing. So you can compare our prices. They're the same as what you're going to get now from the factory. Um, so that's one point. The second point is the shipping, which we'll talk about. Uh, you as a one-off customer importing a boat, uh, you know, when you look for a freight forwarding company or a shipping agent, they're going to generally charge you a lot more money as a one-off customer, especially when you're importing a boat, they're going to assume you've got plenty of money. Uh, and in my experience, we've always saved at least between one and three thousand dollars on the shipping costs that were quoted from the factory or from other sources as compared to our own freight forwarder that we've been dealing with for 10 to 15 years. We know what prices they should be. We know the fluctuations. We know uh, the times to ship and the peak periods of the year and things like that. And they differ from port to port, but I'm very confident in saying we can, in our fee, we're going to save you that money. Not only are we going to build you a boat, we're going to work with you to do it all, get all your customizations right, see the process through, find the right shipping line at the right price, get it to Australia, get it through customs, and then you can take it from there, pick up the boat with the trailer, we'll organize everything for you. So that's our basic consultancy fee. Our fees then go up where we can uh, go down and attend uh, Brisbane ourselves with your trailer and collect the boat and bring it back. Uh, of course, we have our own trailers too, which we have designed especially for our model boats first and foremost. So if you buy a trailer from us, you're going to get it a lot cheaper than what you would from a standard, uh, another manufacturer. We'll have it built in time uh, a month ahead so we can tow it down to Brisbane or give it to you to tow down to Brisbane. The roller height and trailer adjustments are all going to be 90% done rather than you buying a trailer that has never seen the boat before and what's the chances of getting there at the, uh, at, at the wharf and um, having a crane drop the uh, boat onto your trail and having it all uh, perfectly able to be just driven away. It's, an, it's a very slim chance. So we do offer that as, a, as another service all the way through to our complete turnkey packages where uh, we'll bring the boat back to Townsville, we'll fit it out with your motor, your electronics, everything, do all the trailer adjustments, the final run-throughs, run the motor in, do the water test, prop tests. We test at least three different pitch props to make sure we've got the right fit. So if you're local in Townsville or North Queensland, we can do that service for you. But if you're anywhere else in the country, we can assist you in a basic consultancy role from two, four or $6,000. So I just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so when it comes to importing a boat, I've broken it down into five main components that will uh, just determine what your end price of the vessel will be. Now, uh, our latest comments, our latest reviews and everything have gone really well, something like 120,000 views. And in that, again, we get some negative comments. And I'd just like to address a couple of those while we do this. So one is here, uh, people must be stupid to buy a boat from you when they can import one themselves for a fifth of the price. Okay, so we'll, we'll address that soon. Another one, I see these boats on Alibaba for 25,000. Good luck selling them for 150. And another, uh, wasn't a customer, but a, a comment that uh, you know, asked for a quote on shipping, and I told him, you know, it's roughly between twelve and $17,000, depending on you know, what you want to do, how you want to do it. And he basically flicked me through a quote from a shipping agent saying $1,400, and calling me a, you know, a fraud and being dishonest and trying to rip people off. 
So again, we're going to see where the honesty lies and we're going to see where the stupidity lies. So I'm going to you know, outline these, these things. So let's get started. Number one is the end factory invoice. So this is the amount that we have to pay to the factory. Now I can see uh, the boats, depending on what factory you're dealing with, whether it's us or someone else, because this applies to everyone. It's just to give everyone a bit of a hand. You can see a seven meter boat on average between 25 and $28,000 on Alibaba, say. Okay, now that may look like my boat from the outside, but it is nothing like our boats. We have designed and, and fully optimized our boats with a lot of options and customizations. So that's something to bear in mind from the start. So when you, pay, when you see these ads for these cheap boats, they include nothing. So we generally, in the last few boats we've done for customers and boats for ourselves, We've averaged between $5,000 in optional extras at the factory level, right through to about $12,000. So I'm going to sit in the middle and add about $8,000 worth of a factory fitted options. And that's going to get you a lot of fruit. And the boat's going to pretty much have most of the uh, options that you see on our boats, if not all of them. So we're, at, uh, t we're going to say the middle range for the advertised hull to 25 and 28. So we're going to sit at 27 for this um, for this purpose. And we're going to add $8,000 worth of uh, factory options. So that gives us $35,000 uh, factory end invoice price. So I can see where our mate's coming from when he's done his math and he's looked at our boats for 150 and he's, he's gone, okay, well, I can get one for a fifth of the price. Well, the first mistake old mate that he's made is that is in US dollars. So if you convert $35,000 to Australian dollars, and I like to always go under what the last six month average Australian dollar is, so you don't undervalue your budget and your boat bill uh, um, budget from the very start. So if it's currently 63, 64 cents, and you look at it in the last six months has dropped down, take a couple of cents off that because you're never gonna get the live rate either. The bank's always gonna take their cut. So for this purpose, I'm gonna use uh, 62 cents as the conversion rate. So $35,000 US converted to Australian equals $55,550. So straight away, old mate's about $20,000 out of pocket. He's under budgeted. So that's point number one. So if, just for easy calculation, we're going to say $55,500. So that's the X factory price. So that's number one. Uh, number two is the shipping. Now this applies, I'm going to do the first scenario based on shipping a 40 foot container out of China and into Brisbane. So this is where uh, I get a lot of uh, kickback on people that say, why is the shipping so high? Well, when you ask for a quote on shipping, that's all you're going to get is the quote on the actual shipping, the time your container or your cargo is sitting on a vessel. It doesn't include the fees to get it to there. It doesn't include the fees to get it off and then to get it to a third party transport uh, company of your, your choice to collect the, the container and take it to their depot. So the, you'll generally get three invoices from a freight forwarder. Number one will be the shipping component. Now, over the last 12 months, shipping into Brisbane, a 40-foot container has been anywhere between $900 and $2,000. So let's sit in the middle and say $1,500 US dollars. So converted that, convert that to Australian, you're sitting at about $2,500. So that's the first component of your shipping rate. The second component is the government fees and charges. And the biggest one in here is the GST. So we've established that your boat is worth $55,000. Uh, so you can quickly assume and budget that you are going to have to pay before your boat's released from customs, $5,500 in GST, plus some other small charges, but we'll just stick to the $5,500. So $2,500, first component of shipping, $5,500 is the second component of shipping, we're up to $8,000. Now, as I said, you need to employ a third party transport company to go to the wharf. You can't go to the wharf. It's an Australian um, federal property, there's border controls in place, you need an authorised a uh, semi-trailer company to go and pick up your uh, container and deliver it back to their depot or wherever you want it delivered it to. So when you add the fees, and there's a lot of them on that invoice, there's customs release fees, document fees, all these things, obviously semi-trailer there and back. Uh, it's about on a general normal container, just not boats, just a normal container, they all come to about 22 to 2,500, so we'll say 2,500. Um, then when you're importing a boat, obviously in the container, you have the unload fees. You can't do that yourself unless you can. You've got heavy machinery at your doorstep. So the container goes back to their depot. You have about half a dozen blokes unloading the boat using cranes and forklift. Minimum crane high is about three hours and it's about $1,300. So assuming all 
all goes well, uh, you could add about $2,000 to that cost, so $4,500. So we have $2,500 being the shipping component, $5,500 being just the GST is $8,000, and $4,500 being the container delivered, taken back to the wharf, and obviously unloaded, and the crane hire for uh, the boat to get onto a trailer. Now that's assuming you don't have any x-ray holds, any customs holds, any quarantine inspections, that your paperwork's in order, there's no delays, and you get the container back to the shipping line in the due, due time it's back, otherwise you get charged detention fees on top of that. So forget all that. So $12,500 if you're shipping a boat uh, in a container. Now, as you know in the previous videos, we choose not to do that with our boats. We can if people want to save and be, uh, do it on a bit of a budget. Uh, or if you're shipping the six metre boats, they don't need to, um, let they all fit in the container upright, so that's all good. So when you're shipping as deck cargo, it's special cargo on, on, the, on the top row, because obviously nothing can go over top of it. So you pay a premium for that. And into Brisbane, the price has been generally about $5,000 to $10,000 more in Australian than the cost of shipping in a 40-foot container. Now, we're pretty close to $5,000, and most of the times it's about $5,000 more shipping it as deck cargo. It's only when you're shipping in the real peak periods, like January, that that can skyrocket up to about $12,000 for deck cargo, which equates to about you know, $9,500, $10,000 more than shipping in a, in a container. So bear that in mind. So for our purpose, we've got $12,500, and we're going to add five five and a half thousand dollars say, for ease of calculation, for the deck cargo element of the, um, of the, of the shipping. So what are we at there? We're at $18,000. Uh, so running total, we're at $55,000 X factory and $18,000 for the second component being the shipping. Now you can also add $500 in there just for your own personal insurance policy to protect the cargo while it's on the water as well, just to, just to double check. It's worth paying. Sometimes you can get them as cheap as $300, but we'll say $500. You don't want to see your boat you know, hit a storm and see the boat be on the news with the boat toppling off into the water. So we're at $73,500. So we're just under half what our sell point is. So our sell point on the 720s can average between 145 and 165 So on the last few that we've done, based on 2023 prices, exchange rates, and I know that the factory has got a big price increase coming up. So if you're watching this in the future, just use this as a guide. So we're at half, so old mate says he can import a boat for a fifth of the price. Well, he's about uh, $40,000 now out of pocket and under budgeted. So, uh, and you can also see with old mate accusing me of being dishonest uh, about the shipping rates, they're the shipping rates. They're the things that uh, is going to you're going to be charged without a doubt. You can't get it cheaper than that. So that's a, on average. And again, that's in a Brisbane. Prices do vary from port to port, but you can use this as a scenario. Okay. Okay. Number three. Okay, so old mate obviously thinks that uh, because he's bought this on Alibaba, he can close his eyes, nod three times, a genie appears and magically, you know, a trailer appears under his boat, his boat uh, gets a motor on it and his boat gets electronics on it, it gets his three wishes and then, well four actually, he's got to have the boat and trailer and everything shipped to his home address wherever he may live. So it doesn't happen that way, obviously. So $73,500 is where we're at now and you still need a trailer. So we offer trailers that are perfectly suited to our boats. We offer three different price points, being the cheapest in galvanised, uh, middle uh, basic aluminium, uh, right up to our customised aluminium trailer with all the bells and whistles. We're talking mag wheels, oversized tyres, 235 slash 15 inch, so you get better ground clearance. Uh, we add two extra mags and, and spare wheel tyres, so you've got six tyres in total, two spares. One of those spares is fitted with a, a North Queensland recovery kit, complete with a full hub and bearings and everything. So if you have any problems on one of our rugged highways up here in the remote area, you, you're going to get yourself out of trouble. LED lights, Alco IQ7 uh, electric over hydraulic brake controller, dual axle, dual braked, uh, the um, uh, breakaway app which you can control by your phone to you know, uh, adjust the intensity of your brakes, have a park brake option by your phone so when you're at the wharf uh, you, know, you can press park brake. So everything basically included, check a plate. Uh, it's a $30,000 trailer that we do for $25,000 basically with everything done. Uh, and that's the price I'm going to quote. So if you want to go cheaper galvanised, you know, obviously look at it around the $12,000 mark with all your on-road costs, right up to, you know, $17,000 for a basic aluminium trailer. So I'm going to add $25,000 for the trailer. 
So we're at 98,500. And again, this is very, very broad and very average. So the landed uh, cost of the boat with a trailer generally you know, can be as low as probably 90 or even less if you've got less options on our boat with a galvanised trailer, right up to about 110. So we'll sit in the middle at about 105 um, just for this exercise. So that's going to be our, our budget. So we're yet to fit a motor. So this comes pretty easy. So number four is the motor. And it's going to vary quite dramatically depending on what size motor you want to put on and what brand motor you want to put on. So these, these boats are 175 to 250 traditionally. Our boats, uh, with our customizations that we've done uh, with extra fuel tanks and things like that, we've now rated the transom from 200 to 300. So um, our last boats, we've fitted, we've fitted a 250 horsepower V6 4.2 litre Yamaha, and that'll cost you $43,000. And comparatively, for the same amount of money, $43,000, you can get a 300 horsepower Mercury Pro XS version. So the Pro XS is a little bit more uh, power with the lean burn technology. They're a bit more expensive than the standard. So $43,000 is what I'll use in this example, being that that's what we're going to be putting on the next two boats. Um, so we'll add that to our tally. So 105,000 plus 43,000. Now, as an example, again, if you want to put a 200 horsepower, I wouldn't recommend going 175, but a 200 horsepower Mercury will probably cost you about 33, so about 10 grand saving on that. Uh, and obviously, I don't really know the prices of Suzuki and the others at the moment either, but I just know these ones off the top of my head. Now, that just includes the motor only. So you'd never really get much change out of five grand from your dealer with um, the motor fitting, the labor. We, we buy all the steering and hydraulics and even the steering wheel and that here. So it's all perfectly suited for the motor and fitted by the same person. We don't do that overseas just to save a few dollars. Then you're up for you know some mounting equipment, obviously the dual batteries, uh, the isolator switch, all those little things that add up. And in that is generally about four to six hundred dollars for the same company to fit uh, your electronics so that you've already pre-purchased. So we like to flush mount them in the dash, costs generally about three to four hundred dollars per item to have it professionally fitted. Uh, obviously UHF, VHF radios and antennas and things like that. So we'll allow five thousand dollars. So we're now up to $153,000, but we haven't bought any of the um, safety equipment and other things necessary for the boat. So a good anchor, especially if you're on a reef anchor, is going to set you back two, three hundred dollars. Uh, anchor rope and chain, if you want to go 100 meters, again another two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, UHF, VHF radio, your antenna, your EPIRPs, your safety flares, your V sheets, your life jackets. Fenders, uh, launch ropes, all that sort of stuff, medical kit. We add all that in for around about $2,000 is um, when you want to include everything there so it's all complete. So we're at $155,000 already um, under this scenario. Uh, and you, we haven't bought our electronics and we haven't paid our fee. So we'll add our fee onto that too, $4,000 for a 7.2. So we're at $159,000 for this scenario. So electronics is something that's really personal. It depends. Some people don't, aren't really fussed about it because they're not using it for serious fishing. Other people want jeweled screens and all this sort of stuff. So what I do is I just, after speaking with the customer, we come up with an allowance that I think is going to be suitable. So if it's just a standard sounder, we'll say we'll allow $4,000. And then if they change their mind during the build process and want to put something bigger on, or they want to add a radar or autopilot, they can just pay whatever their surplus is over that $4,000 budget that we've allowed and it can be paid in the final balance. So we'll just add $4,000 to that. And so we've got a final bill price of 163. So that, I think, I hope that clears a, a few things up for you and shows you how it, we come to the price. We have a quote sheet with all the options that we uh, have. You'll find our prices that are exactly the same from the factory that you'll get, for, anyone can get off Alibaba. Uh, the reason we can do it so cheap, two, four or six thousand dollars, is for total transparency. We are dealers and we now have an agreement with the factory where with every boat purchase we get a commission and a kickback. So it allows us to offer our consultancy fees at a very, very cheap rate and offer, gets you on the water uh, very cheaply as well. So you can do it yourself or you can choose to use us. I think there's a lot of advantages to use us. We don't take on too many jobs uh, uh, per year. We only do a certain amount. It's a father and son business. But I hope you can see where uh, there is no bullshit. I mean, um, uh, people that want to accuse me of being dishonest, go do it yourself. 
go try it, test my, my, my figures out and see if I'm wrong. I've no incentive to sit here on YouTube and be dishonest and make up figures. So, uh, and you know, if you do a build with me, this total transparency, you can see the shipping invoices from my supplier, okay? So um, there's no cloaks and daggers here. Anyway, uh, next month, our next video is going to be exciting because we have two identical 720s, well three actually, but two shipping relatively uh, close together. One, uh, both are sold, one our customer has chosen to put a 300 horsepower Pro XS Mercury and the other customer has a 250 horsepower V6 Yamaha, uh, both the same price. So although they're not the same horsepower, we can do a really good review with both boats, hopefully side by side, getting some fuel stats, some economy stats, wide open throttle stats, fuel usage, all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be a really good video. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be alerted to whenever we put a video up. And until then, if you see us at the uh, at the boat ramp, come say good day. Um, my, my son, uh, Ethan and I are always uh, heading out on the water as much as we can. So until then, stay safe on the water and tight lines. Cheers.